So this is just a quick video. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you this a little uh, guitar hack to help you to find the notes on the guitar. The premise is that you already understand uh, the notes that are available to you on your E string. So if I just kind of run up the E string there, and I just run that down there, that like that. We've got the E, the F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, because B and C are next door to each other, C sharp, D, uh, D sharp, and then we get the E here at the 12th fret, and everything starts again. So essentially, that's a cool thing, in it, just knowing that in itself. That, yeah, once you've learned from there to there, You've essentially learned all the rest of it, and if you've got twenty-four frets, you've learned you, you you've got it double bubble. Here's the thing, yeah. What you might want to do is to be more economical and more efficient. What you might want to do is is change where a chord is traditionally played, um, and the way to do that is to it, you know if you don't know all where all your notes are, the way that the strings are uh, designed. Uh, in these fourths and third, and the third between the G and the B, what we can do is we can do a mathematical equation. We can do a sum. Uh, so if I looked at say the note here, here at the tenth, this is it in practice. This is a D note. So we've got a D here at the tenth. Excuse my nose. I've got I'm stuffed up. I've got a stupid cold. So that's the tenth fret. Now instead of Rooting around and trying to figure out where things are. Here's how you do it. If I want to find that D on the next string down, on the A string, all I do is I do a sum. I do a mathematical equation. And what it is, is I'm at fret 10 and I'm minus 5. So what's 10 minus 5? That number is straight in your head. And it's at the 5th. 5th fret on the A string. Now the thing is, if I do that again, if I go 5 minus 5 gives me 0, then that takes me down to my D string there. So look, I've got a D here, I've got a D here, I've got a D here. And that's the same, that's going to apply the same all the way over, all over the neck, apart from in between the, uh, the uh, pesky uh, G and B string. All that, that happens there is that you knock one off and it becomes four. So, same on G here, uh, on the G string. And I want to f find out where the uh, G is on the B string. All I do is I'm at 12 minus four. That's going to give me eight. So I can find that note again. Now what happens is from the B to the E string, we revert back to that original thing where it goes... Uh, five. So if I'm at the G here, uh, at the eighth fret on the B string, there eight minus five is three. That's going to help me to find that note there. So that's your quick and easy little uh, lesson for today. Uh, it's a quick little tutorial just to help you to get to around your fretboard a little easier. There is another way where we do plus seven and plus eight, but that's another day and another video. See you later. Keep playing. Keep practicing. The more you practice, the better you get. And the better you get, the more fun you have. The more fun you have, the more you want to practice.